All right, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be putting some camo paint on my Smith & Wesson M&P 1522. Had this uh, old CTR stock laying around, some random bits, this uh, forward grip with the bipod that I just installed in my last video. I figured I'd give the old fun 22 plinker rifle a cool custom camo paint job just to make it look a little a little better obviously I'm not doing this for like a battle rifle you know with the flat trying to avoid reflections and stuff like that I have other uh, ARs and stuff for that this is just just for the hell of it just kinda of practice them in case I want to do this on my arrow precision AR-15 so for a good thing about the rust-oleum camouflage paint so uh yeah let's get this taped and prepped ready for paint all right first things first show you that it's clear nothing in it no ammo around all right so first things first what you want to do is tape off the areas you obviously don't want paint on the bolt carrier and stuff like that and uh, like the magazine this little window here that goes through I'm gonna tape off just the center part maybe the trigger a couple other little things and then like your red dot and your scope make sure there's like numbers and stuff like that on here and for your adjustments you don't want to tape over those or you don't want to paint over those, I should say. For me, my lens caps are like a kind of rubberized plastic. So I don't think paint's going to stick too well to these. So I'm just going to tape off the lens with some painter's tape. And a few of the knobs and stuff like that. Alright, so what I use to tape stuff off is just like your regular blue masking painter's tape. No specific brand, so whatever's cheapest at the time. And then for the paint, I'm going to be using the camouflage uh, rust-oleum paint. It's flat, non-reflective finish. So, and I've seen in other videos, I don't know if this is like newer additive, but people said that the stuff doesn't stick to plastic very well, but it says right here on the can, also bonds to plastic. So I don't know if this is like a new formula or what, but... I do have some adhesion promoter I was going to spray on a few of the areas. So yeah, I'm not too sure, you know, the different synthetics and plastics in here. Because this rifle is pretty much all, all plastic, upper, lower, you know, the grips and stuff. Alright, and then for the colors, the first one we got is the Army Green. It's supposed to match the, uh, the cap color pretty well, like an olive drab kind of color. And then the next color is the f deep forest green. Nice darker green. And then I got the khaki color. Camel khaki, yeah. One thing too, when you uh, paint, make sure your stock is all the way out so you can get your, uh, your buffer tube there. And to uh, clean it for prep, I'm just going to use some... 99% alcohol on a rag and just kind of give it a good wiping down. All right, got all the important components taped off. Just did like my trigger, mag release, bolt carrier, knobs, a few little things. I'm going to put like a plug in the barrel also. Got the mag taped up. That's pretty much what I did. I just put tape in there and then use my thumb to press it down on the flat surface. Then I use the exacto knife to cut around the edge lightly. So I've got a good tape on the inside spring part. I'm only going to paint this mag and the rifle in this video. Then I'm going to do another video showing how to paint your mags to match your rifle that's already painted. And then yeah, here on the other side I pretty much just have the Serial number taped off. 
the rest of the stuff I can just paint right over top of. Got everything taped and wiped down. Ready to spray. Gonna do the uh, base layer of the khaki color. And then I'm gonna let that dry overnight. So I have a good base to work with when I start doing the uh, camo and the patterns and stuff. All right, let's get this base khaki coat on and let it dry. Got the khaki base coat on. Looks pretty good. <laughs> Almost matches my uh, Aero Precision AR-15 that I got. It's the uh, all flat dark earth. Looks pretty sweet. Check out my other videos to see my gun collection. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's starting to dry a little bit. You can see the sheen is going down. It's starting to be more flat. Looking forward to putting the uh, textures and other layers on. But I'm going to let this dry overnight, and then I'll be back. And poof, just like that, it's the next day. The f base coat of the khaki, nice and dry. Alright, so when it comes for like textures and stripes and stuff like that, people use like leaves and... You know, things like that, but here in Wisconsin, everything is still dead. It's just twigs and sticks outside. Just got snow not too long ago. It's melting away, so you could take, like, uh, old broom, take some of these off and kind of spread them out, you know, use that for texture. And back when I used to uh, airbrush Harleys and stuff like that, skulls, and I got a bunch of old stencils, different textures, and... This one's got a couple cool little stripes I might, you know, tape off two of these three, spray a couple of that pattern, and then do the opposite, tape off, you know, that one, and then do a couple of the smaller and medium ones. I figured doing some of these stripe patterns, flipping around on here, would look pretty cool. I think for the uh, first color for the stripes, I'm going to use the army green.
All right, just threw on some basic green patterns with those stencils I had. All right, this is just the uh, kind of background design for now. Now I got both sides done with that pattern. I'm going to go and take the dark forest green and kind of do some streaks angled this way. And then I can add some lighter textures on top of the dark. Kind of do like a stripe design. All right, now to do the stripes with the deep forest green. All right, now putting those stripes across there, added a lot more depth. It's starting to look pretty good. Now I'm gonna go through with that like broom bristles that I broke up and I'm going to go back over some of the dark spots that I just put in the stripes with a little of that tan. Just put a little bit of texture in there, see how it looks. So what I did was just tape some of these and kind of bent them, leave some gaps in between there and you just put it on there and spray through your little texture stripes. All right, that broomstick thing with the texture turned out pretty good. Now I'm gonna go back over some of the spots and do the same textured stuff with the army green color. All right, I think it turned out pretty good. Got some cool textures. Sorry for the garage door clanking. It's really windy outside today. But yeah, I really, uh, really like this paint. Comes out super nice. No runs. All right, I'll flip it around and show you the other side. Yeah, here's the other side. Yeah, I really like how those textures turned out. Now before I take all the tape and stuff like that off. I'm actually going to be putting some, uh, just like a misting coat of clear coat on here. I'm gonna be using like a satin clear, cause I have it laying around. Kinda 
want to give it almost like a the Cerakote look, you know. Like this is just a little 22 rifle, so I'm not really worried about the flatness and reflections and all that. This is just for looks. But yeah, let's uh spray some of it on there and then I'll let it dry. Okay, got the uh, some mist coats of some satin clear on there. It's still drying. Yeah, I'm really liking how it turned out. All right, now I'm going to start taking the tape and stuff off. Well, would y'all look at that? Got all the tape and stuff off. Yeah, I really like how it turned out. Cheap and easy. I think each one of these cans was like six or seven bucks on Amazon. They have uh, other colors too, so these are just the, the three that I wanted to do. But yeah, anyone can do this. Grab an old broom, some stuff to make some textures, some paint, a little bit of tape. Here's the other side. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Check out my others. I might uh, paint one of my pistols to match this. I want to go like camping and stuff got my 22 and my nine millimeter matching hit that like button it really helps subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you in the next one